YouTube, it's your boy Molten. It, you, you already know what it is when you've seen Halo back again. Uh, sorry guys, I've never done a commentary, never before, so if I do sound like I'm starting, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry because this is actually my first commentary that I'm doing right now. I just got wrecked right there. Um, I'm really, really doing this just to explain to you guys what's going on, like what's, what kind of updates I'm trying to do, I'm trying to figure out. Pre pretty much by the title of the video, you're going to really uh, find it out. It's called Crossroads. And really what that is, is um, I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm trying, do, do I continue the Halo 3 Road to 50 or MLG Pro series that I'm doing with Call of Duty? Pretty much every gamer goes through this, like, they're like, okay, Call of Duty is now the biggest esports game to pretty much, in terms of first person shooters, to be out now. And before it was Halo 3. But the thing is with now, it's like, I'm kind of at that crossroads where it's like, I'm not sure what I want to actually go and what and play which game like which game do I want to become pro like put my time in put the practice in find teammates all that jazz and and really the really way really the reason I'm thinking this way is because when they were when they announced that they were going to do the Halo what was it Halo Master Chief Collection that's what it is for the Xbox One it's a hundred percent sure all the Halo pros are coming back to that game and they're going to be playing that and that leaves me with decisions to make whether or not do I go with Halo and take the time to practice now so when my Master Chief Collection comes out, I'll be ready for it because as you guys may or may have not heard or seen that I actually do have an Xbox One now. That's why you've not seen me on Halo 3 at all. So this gameplay right now is actually just me, my first game back in a while because really what I've been doing is if you guys haven't seen my recent videos is I do this series called hey, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts road to MLG Pro and what that is really is that I'm just trying to show you guys what I play what I don't play what I like my frustration my rage all that stuff like like you know me playing GB game battles or team screens with other teams in Call of Duty and to be honest it's really challenging I mean if any I mean yeah anyone else can say they have a different opinion like hey it's all it's all compensation lag it's online doesn't matter and and to a point I can actually agree with that because at some point Online and LAN tournaments are actually different, but that's me jumping off topic. Let me go back to the real topic. Really, what I'm trying to say is, is that I'm trying to I'm trying to ask you guys for help, not on video ideas because I actually have a lot of video ideas. But the reason really you only see one type of content on my channel, which is only Call of Duty, is because it's when I'm trying to go competitive. But at the same time, it's like. These days, if you're trying to become a, a pro in Call of Duty, it's really going to be hard because you're separating yourself from other thousands or maybe hundreds of people that are trying to do the same thing you're doing. At the same time, they're making YouTube channels, they're live streaming, they're doing all that. Well, I'm here trying to decide whether I, I want to stay with Call of Duty or do I go back to Halo. I And who knows? Um, I actually had the decision... I might do both, but the same. But the thing is, that's just impossible to be honest. Since how are you going to be on a Call of Duty team and a Halo team at the same time? So let's say, for example, if the opportunity came, uh, I get to join two LAN teams for Call of Duty and Halo. And I, and I let's say, for example, uh, let's say Anaheim. For example, if Halo goes back to being the competitive scene and it goes to Anaheim, guess what? Call of Duty and Halo at the same LAN event at Anaheim. So you're like, okay, I gotta play at this schedule for Halo and then this schedule for for Call of Duty. It's not gonna really work out because you have two different practice schedules, you have two different quotas to meet, and you're not really putting your committing your time to one specific game. So that's why I'm, I'm right here trying to decide whether or not to stay on Halo or Call of Duty. I'm leaning towards Call of Duty, but the thing is with Halo, I wanna see how it goes. I'm not counting Halo out yet. But I want to see. I want to. I want to give it time because before, when I first started my YouTube channel, as you, if you guys are long-time subscribers, I'm sorry. I know I've been uploading different content for you guys because I know you guys subscribe for only Halo Three videos because the series I was doing at the time was Roll to Halo. Excuse me, Roll to Halo Three and Roll to MLG Fifty. Like you know, when you get the 50 rank level in MLG, I was going through that right now. And when I was looking at my rank when I played this game, I was actually ranked 25, so I got it only halfway done. And really, I was trying to decide whether either to finish it before I went to Call of Duty, but at the time, it's like... It's like, at that time, Call of Duty was just skyrocketing, the competitive scene was growing. And as you guys can see, if you guys uh, watch Call of Duty, if you watch MLG Anaheim, 
like the hype that game brings and the, and the audience of how much support they give to their favorite team it's just amazing which is why you guys see well that's what i'm trying to go for you guys like i know you guys don't even know much about me because every single video you actually watch from me is actually only post game like post gameplay like i've already played it's already recorded because every time i do a team scream or i do a gb i already, I already it's, i'm already recording it but I'm, it's not really live or unless I'm actually live streaming and then I'm recording it like you guys already watched it and I do upload it to my channel And that's another issue. I'm actually having that I don't I don't normally like to uh, Tell you guys my frustrations my issues But at this point it's like if you want to be a successful youtuber You got to be open with your subscribers. You, you, you can't even call them subscribers you have to be your, your friends your best friends or Or your family things like things like that when you start to build that connection with your subscribers and i feel like you guys are because you want to subscribe to my channel only to just uh give me like, give me flack about me uh playing call of duty or doing bad at a certain game and i don't mind that Every, like i said everyone is right to their own opinion i respect that if you have something bad to say to me i completely respect your decision man but at the same time it's like i have that level of connection with you guys to a point where I can tell you guys pretty much anything, but at the same time, you guys even know much about me, so that's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Do you want me to do more, some more like these kind of commentaries, more about me, and pull like real life stuff about what you want to know about me, know that? Because pretty much, what well, this is actually my first commentary, and then this, this is actually explaining. It's not even a thing about me. It's a pretty much a decision I want you guys to make, not for me, but I want to take into consideration to see if I'm, if anything I'll, I'll still play call of duty but i want to give it time to where master chief collection comes out and if i see that the competitive scene is growing to the point where you can actually go to land and it's big enough to that point then hey i will go i'll take i'll go a full swing i have the I, all the equipment i need all i really need to do is put the time and the commitment to find teammates to find the people that has the same desire as i do that's why you when I, that's why i decided today i was thinking what do i do for video ideas and I'm like, okay, I've never done a commentary. So you know what? Okay, why not? Let's just do a commentary. And and voila, you guys are seeing a commentary right now. Which is why I'm trying to actually come to the decision where if I do go to Halo now, I don't really see a point to it because there's really no Halo com Halo tournaments right now. Really, the only point you would really want to hop on Halo right now these days is to like actually get the the game like to get better at it at this, at this point because like if master g collection comes out in november and you already have a team the only reason you would play is to get on as a team and practice so when master g collection comes out your team already knows all the strats all the call outs all the spots all the weapon spawns all the over shields everything about it and when master g collection comes out you guys are already ready for it you guys know what to expect really all the difference really is is just graphics a new controller, a new system, 60 frames per second, which is going to be amazing. Which is why I'm so hyped. It's like, at the same point, I, that's why I'm like at a crossroads. I'm trying to figure out if everyone's hyping it as what they're saying it to be, then Halo 3, Ma well no, not Halo 3. Halo Master Chief Collection is going to be a really good game. And the fact that Halo 5, 2, everyone's expecting it to be a competitive game, that's really going to be it. But... I've rambled too much, you guys. I'm sorry if this content if I jumped off topic, but please leave a like and tell me if you guys joined the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you too. We'll see you guys later.